welcome. I'm the Autistic Modeler. Today, we got a 57 T-Bird we're going to be building that was sent over by our good friends at Round 2 Models. Come on in. Let me show you the kit. Let's look at that package first. That's pretty neat. This reminds me of the packaging from the uh, television show Vegas when AMT made the kit. It said Vegas on it with Robert Urich. That was a cool show. And the package looks a lot like that. Let's look inside here. There's some of the options. You got an all chrome engine with a stand. That's pretty neat. An up top, mag wheels and white letter tires. Scoop, a custom fastback style. That's pretty neat. And there's that fastback style install with the, the uh, slotted wheels and flameage. And then our stock version with their Continental kit on the back. Pretty neat stuff. Let's open it up. All right, here we go. All right, well, there's that T-Bird body. That's pretty cool. Bottoms molded in, but we can detail that up really nicely. Really good looking fins on there. I'm liking that. And then uh, there's that engine stand right there. There's our extra engine. I think this comes with two engines, one chrome and one regular. That's pretty cool. And there's our rear Cottonelle kit stuff here. Neat stuff. Headlight bezels. And there's the, uh, whoops, it's hooked on there, isn't it? There's the up top there. Now, some of these had a porthole in there. I think it was optional. I don't think Ford did it on all of them. So that could be something interesting. Maybe you could cut that in there. Not sure. There's our hood. Nice detail underneath. And there's that custom. Kind of looks like a Barracuda to me, you know? That Barracuda. And then our fender skirts. Our interior. Another dashboard and interior part. And I think this is a custom side scooper. Not sure. Part of the uh, the Continental kit, steering wheel, and some wheel backs. There's the glass. There's this is a, for that fastback uh, rear end and our stock glass here. Looks like I don't see any red parts. I don't see any red tail light parts. Uh, here's our wheels. We got our stock hubcaps right there we got some mags and we got looks like a like a chrome reverse type wheel there nice bumper and chrome for the uh, continental kit nice chrome windshield frame right there looks good and it has the stand thing uh it was just loose in the bag of white parts i don't know how it works uh, I think it was one of those that you mount it on the wall somehow, and the car goes on it. I don't know. We'll have to see in the book. And then here's that chrome engine right there. Now, it looks like a Ford Y-block engine, maybe a 312. There's part of the cylinder heads. And it looks like a little model car. You see that right there? That's pretty neat. And a Thunderbird logo, a large Thunderbird logo. Pretty cool stuff. And I'm not sure what these pieces are. Again, they were loose in the bag. Right there. Some kind of custom pieces, possibly. There's a manifold for the chrome engine that came off. And then here's, it's got two metal axle rods. Now this has got a lot of tires in it, too. These new round two AMT kits got a lot of tires. You get four of these white walls. They're really good looking. You see that? Nice tread on there, bias ply type. Good looking. There's no, well, there is a brand name, Firestone Supremes, it says on there. It's hard to see, but it's on there. And then over here, you got the pad printed Goodyears. These are really nice for some muscle cars and things. You get four of those. So you get eight tires in this kit. And then uh, here's our decal sheet. See that? That's pretty cool. You got some instrument gauges and 
stripage and some other things on there, license plates. Good looking stuff. And then here's our book right there. It's pretty nice. Uh, basic stuff there. Pretty cool. Let's look over some uh, Google pictures and I'll figure out how we're going to build it.
what's that time again? That's right, final assembly. Let's take a look at it. Well, take a look at this body. This T-Bird body turned out really nice. It's a good looking body. Now, I was putting the windshield in. It's a trick bag. You need to put the chrome piece on first, really carefully, then you put the clear glass in from the inside. The instructions just say jam it on there and roll. That's not really true. Now I went ahead and added the sun visors, even though it says with the up top not to use them, but I found setting it on there, it want to fall in. So I think that's gonna help hold it together. So that looks pretty good. And here's our interior. Saw me put that instrument panel decal on. That turned out really nice. Really nice looking interior. And our chassis. Here we go. Our big 312 Thunderbird engine. And that turned out really well. Just some light shading and different uh, colors and things. Make it look pretty good even though it's molded in. There's our grill and our rear bumper. I'm not going to use the Continental kit, so I've eliminated that and just put the bumper right on. And then here's our wheels. Turned out really good, that black wash in there. So, all right, well, stick with me. We'll be finishing it up and we'll be right back. All right, here it is, all finished. 57 Thunderbird by AMT. This is a cool kit. Turned out pretty good. I like that hard top on there. Here's the interior. Went in pretty good. Now, I noticed that I didn't really see it in the instructions, but at the rear of the interior is these poles, and there's round circles that you could press on there to help hold the interior in. Kind of like some of the older promo kits. Pretty cool. And look at that bottom. Turned out really nice. We'll take a look at that engine. There's that Thunderbird 312 Y block. Pretty neat stuff. Went together really well. I had no trouble finishing the assembly. Now, the only trouble I did have, I apologize, right here, the chassis bumps into the front bumper. It didn't go in all the way. So a little trimmage right there went in, glued, done. No problem. Went together went really good. Hood fits on nicely. If I can put it on correctly, it goes to the front first because on the real car, it flips forward. And then those sun visors help hold the roof on. That uh, keeps it from falling down. And uh, I like it. It turned out really well. That salmon color is pretty cool. Look at that back end. Those big fins on there. Pretty neat stuff. Well, I want to thank Round 2 for sending it over for a full review. And uh, I had fun building it. And until next time, I'm the Autistic Modeler. Happy modeling.